When we root our Samsung Galaxy devices, we do so knowing that we're going to end up losing access to certain apps and services on the phone. This is because some of the apps from Samsung require Knox to be intact due to security reasons. For example, Samsung wants to make sure sensitive data is secured so when an application like Samsung Health can collect and store data on your health, they will go and disable the application from working if the phone detects that Knox has been tampered with. And since we have to trip Knox in order to gain root access to the phone, it means that we end up losing this very useful feature. However, there are some ways of getting around this, and in today's video, I want to show you two of those methods. Now, as a side note, there used to be a third method used here, but with the release of One UI 4, that method the method that involves modifying the build.prop file is no longer working. So the first method that I want to show you is the downgrade method, as it just means we're going to downgrade the Samsung Health app to an older version of that app. We're going to be downgrading to a version of the app that does not have the check for Knox. So this is an official version that we're going to be downgrading to, and we just need to download it from a trusted website like APK Mirror. The specific version that we're going to be downgrading to is version 6.19.5.017. We can't install this version of the app unless the version we have installed is older or it is not existent. So in order to do that we're going to find our S Health our Samsung Health application and do a long press on the icon and tap the I icon so that we can get to the app info page. And if you want, we can find this by going into settings, then apps, and then finding Samsung Health. So right from here, we're just going to tap the uninstall button, tap on OK. And now, now that has uninstalled that version of the application. And once the previous version has been removed, we can sideload this older version like you normally would. And now whenever we open it up, it will bring us to the Samsung Health application like you would expect. And again, this is just an older version, so we may be losing out on some of the very new features, but overall the Samsung Health app is going to work. The benefit of this method is that we're simply installing an unmodified version of the application. It's just an older version. And that's the downside, is that the application is going to be a bit out of date, so there could be some features that end up being missing when compared to the latest version available. Now the second method I want to highlight today is a patched version of Samsung Health that is made to work on custom ROMs. I believe this modified version does allow you to stay up to date with the latest features, but you do lose out on some other features such as syncing to your Samsung account. It's not going to be possible to sync your health data to your Samsung account if you're using a modified version of the application. Now this may be an isolated issue with only certain devices in certain situations, 
but overall there are some sacrifices you'll have to make if you want the latest features Samsung Health has to offer. This works just like we did before. We'll download this version of the application, uninstall the original version that we have on our device, and install this newer version that we download from this website. I'll be including links to both of these methods, whether you want to grab the official version or the patched version. Both methods will be included in the video description below. As these are two of the most common methods that we can use the Samsung Health application, even though we have root access to our device.